a few general, very general updates. Um, I think you've probably seen our uh, previous IG Live with the Lamley Group and John Sabal, uh, the very famous designer in, in the US, uh, where we have announced our collaboration and basically uh, announced the first four cars uh, in, the, in the collab and to let you basically choose uh, which, you know, vote for which two uh, you would like to see first and the, and the results came in, we have announced it and the results were the A86 and the GTR R32, so we had picked one Toyota and one Nissan, so we're going ahead with those two first. It doesn't mean that the other two aren't being produced, it's just that we're going to produce those two um, in, the, in the first wave, in the first batch. Um, the second announcement, which also we have announced already, um, is the charity program with uh, Daniel Wu, the very famous actor. Um, and uh, t with his Datsun 510 Tonto, um, we raised um, 12,000, over 12,000 uh, US, and it will be going to the Hong Kong Cancer Fund. So thank you so much for the support for that. Thank you to Daniel for working with us um, on the particular car. Uh, we, and we, hope, we really do hope to work with him uh, on a longer term basis, and we have been having chats on that, so uh, more to come on that front. Lastly, um, we, as you as you've seen, uh, we have had our uh, um, uh, sort of pop up uh, counters, uh, store space, whatever you call it, at Toys R Us in Hong Kong. Um, this was one of their many shops in Hong Kong. Was was one of the, the probably the biggest one in Hong Kong, and um, we have actually set up a, a permanent uh, cabinet. Uh, that was this was actually last night, and uh, so for the folks in Hong Kong, you can you can visit us at the uh, Ocean Terminal branch uh, of Toys R Us, and then we are hoping to slowly branching out to um, other other Toys R Us shops as well. Uh, but it's a it's a good start for us, and um, the 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 work together with the with the Toys R Us team has been has been really good. So thank thanks um, big thanks to them. Um, so let's let's jump in again. Uh, we're gonna go through regular releases, going go, go through some pre-order stuff, and then of course at uh, you know sneak peeks uh, at the very end. So let's let's go through the regular releases, which will be on next Thursday, uh, March the twenty third, for TWOC members. If you haven't joined, again uh, come to our uh, web store. Purchase the TWOC membership car, which is that's in 510, the BRE version, um, and then you'll automatically become a member by just simply purchasing that car. You get 10% off of everything in our shop, and then you get a 24 hour, um, uh, you know, pre, you know, the early bird window uh, to, to buy all of the cars um, that we have here. So let's jump right into it. We have quite a few um, new toolings for this month releasing. Releasing this month, and the first one we're going to go through is our, our the Global 64s, which is the Dodge Viper ACR Extreme. This is the commemorative edition um, in white and the very um, very uh, iconic uh, white and blue with the blue stripes. This is a brand new tooling, and our first um, first ever Dodge uh, model. Next we have the Dodge van in light green. This is not an ordinary Dodge van. Um, again, this is a Dodge van that is being raced and drifted in Japan. And we've seen a lot of the YouTube videos. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you, if you haven't, please check them out. They're they are amazing. Um, these guys just basically modify the dodge van and and just go out on the track and start drifting and racing with it that's why we fell in love with this car and that's why we wanted to do something a little bit different and that's why you see the the racing number on the hood there um for this particular model um it's it's a is a very incredibly cool uh, uh car in real life and so we're trying to make it make this um, into the 64 scale and again this is the global 64 being released on march 23rd and then 24th for the public. Next up, we have two um, AMG F1s. This is the W11, which is the which raced in the 2020 year. The first one is uh, driven by none other than Lewis Hamilton, and it was the Tuscan Grand Prix winner. And then next to it is the 
Valtteri Bottas version, which won the Australian Grand Prix, also in 2020. Again, these are the both that the the um, Mercedes AMG F1 W11 EQ performance, and both of these are brand new toolings. I love the um, the details on these uh, on these models. It does come with the um, the board there that you can see on the front. After they finish the race, they they they're parked um, in the number one spot, and these both of these are the the winner cars. Next up, we have the Mercedes-Benz SL500 Koenig Specials in the Bordeaux color. Basically like a dark red, like a wine, red wine type of red color. This is a convertible version. We'll also have the hard top later on. This is the, again, the Mercedes-Benz SL500 Koning Specials in the Bordeaux color. Next, we're going to show you a product photo uh, because it, it has six cars in it, which is the One Piece collection. A lot of people have been asking and waiting for this, um, and it's finally being released. This is our first sort of blind box uh, set. So um, you can get the whole set with the six cars, uh, or you can get... A random one basically we we don't even know what's inside um, there will be a chase car which is the RX-7 and we've picked six of the uh, most popular characters to to pair up with these six uh, models so again this is the one piece collection volume one So that concludes the Global 64 portion of it, and then next we move on to the Road 64, which is a brand new tooling as well as the Pandem Yaris in white. This one, you have to basically pick it up to see how nicely made it is. Um, the extra wide body, the fenders, it look, just looks incredible, and i um, very proud of this model. So this is the Pandem Yaris in white. Moving on is a Hobby 64 Plus model. It's the Lancia 037 Rally. This is the Rally Van Haspengold 1985 winner. Again, with the Hobby 64 Plus, the back bonnet can open where you can see the engine details inside and this uh, this particular collection has been has been quite popular with our collectors I think you guys are liking the details that you see so we're of course we're going to continue um, continue this this lineup and uh, with with more rally cars basically so we're, we're going to announce those very soon Next, we have um, also pro showing you in a product photo because it's too large to be displayed here is the Pit Garage Diorama, which is the Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team. So, it, this goes perfectly with the two W11s and all the W11 W12s uh, that we have announced before. Uh, it does come with different stickers, as you can see this one with the year 2020 with the Valtteri Bottas. We also have um, the Lewis and George Russell pairing that you can see also in the um, being displayed here on the left here so you got both years you can you can kind of um, have either one whichever drivers you like whichever year you like then you can you can basically um, with one diorama you can get two years worth of um, display basically And then we're going to go to the 43 scale, Hobby 43. This is the Mercedes AMG GT3, Indianapolis 8 hour 2021 car. This one we partnered up with Moon Eyes, so you can see a lot of Moon Eyes logo as well as our huge T logo on the front bonnet 
and tarmac logos on the sides. What I particularly love is the is the um, is the roof, the '99 uh, design on the roof, which we have uh, actually made that design. Um, it looks like it's sort of like a NASCAR number. This is what I like uh, because it is racing in in, in Indy. Um, so we made that. So we, we partnered up with Craft Van Brew Racing for this particular car. And it's the in the in the Moon Eyes uh, livery. <clears throat> okay, moving on, we have a special edition, which is a Global 64 Vertex Sylvia S14. This is kind of in the blue green metallic, um, although the lighting here shows this is a bit more blue ish. This was a um, the Nismo Festival special. Okay, moving on is a collab 64 with Shuko. This is the Porsche 911 Turbo S in the very signature yellow color. All of these are being released on next Thursday for TWOC members and, and of course our distributors and resellers. Again, this is the Porsche 911 Turbo S. Next, we have a couple of um, more interesting items, something that is that is not uh, in a regular sort of lineup. Uh, we have made this acrylic display case. So um, it can display up to six cars. As you can see, there's a sliding door that you can slide on the right to put in the cars. It has a Tarmac Works logo uh, on the on the upper left corner. And actually, the 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 special thing about this one is that you can disassemble the whole thing. So the packaging is is quite flat. Um, it's almost like a small pizza box, if you will. And all the all the all the all the flat pieces can be fitted into it, so it's, it doesn't come with a huge package, um, and and it, it can display again. It fits um, all of our Hobby 64 cars, and of course, without the base, and of course, it can fit the Global 64 cars as well. So we're gonna start putting these um, on the web store as well, and they will go for 1790 US um, per per unit. So just up under 18 bucks. The next up, if you re recall, we um, partnered up with Hello Kitty last November in the Macau GP, Macau Grand Prix race. Uh, we also partnered up with Uno Racing, who is who ran the you know who who ran the car, operated the car, and they have made some special edition T-shirts, Hello Kitty T-shirts, and. Um, Quite a number of different designs in white and black colors, so it is is a it's a it's a great um, great way to kind of mem commemorate um, the race that we had last year, and the fabulous looking RDR8 LMS is featured um, on these T-shirts as well, and these will retail for forty four. 90 and if you're a TWOC member of course you do get 10% discount on everything that I've presented just so far okay that concludes the regular release portion of the RG Live and then we're gonna move on to pre-orders which we actually just announced probably one hour ago uh, we also posted this Vertex Toyota Mark II uh, on Instagram already, so you can have have a look there. Um, this is a brand new Global 64 tooling, and the first color that we're going out with is the dark green metallic, as you can see here. And again, this is continuing our collab with with Vertex. We have done. Uh, quite a few of their cars, RX-7, um, a, a Toyota Chaser, uh, the S14, 
as 15 and then and this is this is the next installment of this collaboration so again this is the Toyota Mark II JZX 100 it will be the first version will be in dark green metallic the pre-ordered open today um, the deadline is in two weeks so please contact our um, your retailer reseller uh, to pre-order this Next up, we have another new tooling and continuing our Pagani collection is the Imola. So this is based on the Huayra, but uh, a, a more crazy version, if I, if I may use that word. Um, as, as you can see, the, the, in the, the back split, splitters, um, the sides and the front. It's, it's, a, it's a jacked up version of the, of the Huayra. And this is the Imola. <clears throat> the first color will be in Rosso Dubai, as you can see here, red and black. Fantastic looking car. Um, very glad to be able to continue this relationship with Pagani. And again, this is the Imola. All of these are due in August this year. Next up, we have the LB Works Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat, and this time in green metallic. This is also um, our collaboration model with Toyo Tires. And we have we have um, pre-ordered the the white version last month, and this is the green version with the black bonnet. And it's quickly becoming uh, one of our um, uh, most popular models, at least for this year. So thanks for all the support, and I, I think this green color looks just fantastic as well. Next, we have a collaboration model with Shuko. This is the Nissan GTR R34 in the very iconic Gran Turismo livery. Also due in August 23. This is a pretty new tooling for, for Shuko. We have introduced the Midnight Purple um, for pre-order and this is the, the second second version with more to come. Next, we have two 43 scale models, both of them by LB Works. This is the Nissan GTR R35 Type 2 in the Mo2 livery. Again, this is a 43 scale. And then lastly, we have a LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GTRR in the JPS livery, the black and gold livery. So again, both of these are in 43 scales. All six of these cars were announced today. Um, you'll start. You'll probably start seeing them in, on social media. And again, the the usual pre-order deadline is in a couple of weeks. So uh, please do contact uh, your retailers to to pre-order them. Next, uh, we have a another round of uh, pre-order on the uh, targeted for the 30th of March. Um, these will consist of. The, the road and six hobby 64 models all of these are uh, also a uh, target to be released in august um, the first one is the is a, a brand new tooling is a pandem master rx7 fc3s in white this was a show car displayed in sema and we're also collaborating with toyo tires on this particular model 
it was showcased at SEMA at the um, Toyo Tread Pass. Again, the brand new tooling. The second model in this pre order will be the Hobby 64 Honda Civic Type R FK8 with EVA Racing. We haven't seen this particular tooling for quite a bit of time. Um, and this was a show car in Japan and uh, EVA Racing asked us to, to make this. So we were, of course, happy to, to collaborate and fantastic looking color, fantastic looking car. Again, this is the Civic Type R FK8 with EVA Racing due in August this year. Next we have a few race cars. The first is the Porsche 911 GT3R competed in the Nürburgring 24 hours in 2019. This is the in the Falcon livery. Very iconic livery of course. This was raced in 2019. This is the Porsche 911 GT3R. Next up, we have two Ferrari models. First one is the 488 GT3. This was in the DT DTM 2021. The Monza Race 1 winner. in the fabulous looking Red Bull livery. Next we have the Ferrari F40 GT that competed in the Italian GT Championship in 1993. Also very iconic shell livery. And then, very last but not least, is the Pandem Yaris in the drift um, drift livery, the Sunoco Tone Monster livery, looking fantastic. So there you have it. This is the uh, March 30th pre-order. So you'll see it in a couple weeks. Um, and all of these are being released in August this year. And then moving on to the last part of, of today's IG Live is always the sneak peeks, which you guys love the most. The first one, again, is continuing the Vertex collaboration We've done the S14, we've done the S15, and this is the Nissan Silvia S13. So we're trying to basically cover at least all, well, almost all the Silvias. I think there's the, still the 180SX. Again, this is the Vertex Nissan Silvia S13. This is the first shot, and we're going to have two different... Um, types of rim designs for this particular car. So two different rims will be available. And then lastly, don't think we've shown this before yet. This is the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. You probably know it as the KPGC 10. Very, very iconic model in Japan. Much like the S13, it will also have two different styles of rims available. So again, this is the 2000 GTR, the KBGC 10.
And that basically concludes our lineup for today. Thank you again for joining and apologies again for the delay. Uh, but hope you've enjoyed uh, the models uh, that we have for for this round of new releases. We have a huge new release, and then uh, also on the, on the, with the with the two rounds of, of pre-orders as well as the sneak peeks. Um, again, thanks thanks so much for the support, and and um, hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, we'll see you next month. Thank you again.